We're now going to have a look at the division of two decimal numbers. So far we've been working with whole numbers. And now we're going to see how we work the sum if we have two decimal numbers. We're using the divisor of 12 again, or in this example 1.2. When you work a division sum, you have to always have the divisor as a whole number. The dividend can remain as a decimal number. To make the divisor a whole number in this case, we need to move the decimal point along one space, or times the number by 10. If we move this decimal point along one space, the divisor becomes a whole number of 12. Now whatever we do to the divisor, we have to do to the dividend. So we will multiply this one by 10 as well, or move the decimal point along one place, which will then make the dividend 488.1. A good way of remembering what you're doing here is to think of it as whatever you do to your small child, you have to do to your large child as well to make things fair. So with your smaller number, the divisor, if you have to move your decimal point one place, you have to do the same to your larger number, the dividend. You must also move that one place. Because we're times in it, you move it to the right. So now we've done that, we can work our sum. And I'm going to work this one in short division. So we now have four 488.1 divided by 12. From now on you can work your sum as you would a whole number sum and your decimal point will appear up here in your answer directly above where it is on the dividend at the moment. So we will say 12 fits into 4 how many times? 4 is too small we put a zero up here if we want to and put our four over here. Cross out this four here because you're finished with it. We next say how many times does 12 go into 48? Looking at our 12 times table we say 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 12 is 48. We write 4 up here and as 4 times 12 is 48 there's nothing to carry over. We can put a zero there if it helps us. We would then say to ourselves, how many times does 12 fit into 8? As with the 4, 8 is too small, 12 won't fit into it. So we have to write a 0 here, so we can move our sum along. We can cross out the 8, and we can carry the 8 over to the next column. We're now working with decimal numbers. And we say to ourselves, how many times does 12 fit into 81? 6 times 12 is 72, 7 times 12 is 84, we have to go for the lower number, so the answer is 6 times 12 is 72. We write a 6 up here, and we work out the difference between 81 and 72. Take 72 away from 81, gives us a remainder of 9. We write 9 here, cross out this number because we're finished with it, and this is where we can fly in a zero, so we can keep working our sum. We then say how many times does 12 go into 90? 7 times 12 is 84, 8 times 12 is 96, so we go for 7 times 12, we write a 7 up here, 7 times 12 is 84, we had 90, so we take 84 away from 90 which gives us a remainder of 6. We can write 6 here, we can fly in another 0 so we can keep working our sum and we say to ourselves how many times does 12 go into 60? 12 goes into 60 exactly 5 times. So we can write 5 up here and as 12 times 5 is 60, when we take our 60 away from our 60 we have nothing left over. Our sum is now finished. So the answer to how many times does 
1.2 fit into 48.81 is 40.1 sorry 40.675 your sum is finished and with this as long as you remember to make your divisor a whole number by moving along your decimal points however many times is required to make it a whole number and then doing exactly the same to your dividend you can't go wrong